Welcome back, family, friends, and fellow gamers to Game Bros, where our goal on this channel is to help Christian gamers with their walk with Christ um, by providing clean Let's Plays. We are continuing our gameplay and playthrough of King's Quest. I am trying to find a way across the river, or at least cause some sort way of to help. Distress. Yeah, which I think I do remember this as well, where I can kind of Stay just. Yeah, cause them to save me because I can't swim, is what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Distress! Abandoned post! <laughs> Distress! They are pretty strong if they can just pick you up with one Yeah, hand. and pretty dang fast, because that was pretty quick. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Don't be rude, boy. We are in the middle of an important conversation. He really? Was talking to me. <laughs> okay, well, there's bees. I don't really think I need to do... Ah, so I do have to... Well, okay, fine. I have to... That makes no sense. You're just sitting there like, oh, he was talking to me. Oh, he was talking to me. And I'm like, can I, can I like, go over there and, and you know, be a helpful in this conversation and like no 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 you can't fix the bridge either and then you walk back so all this stuff you've done before yeah this i think okay. I, i've what? gotten inside like i've gotten inside the tournament talked to the the knights and then started the like challenges uh -huh. but then i just that was where i okay that's where i like i, I did a, probably a two of them or something this tired argument is getting on my nerves no need to argue about the fact that i am uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> Interesting that the other one didn't fall, but whatever, you know. Hello, let's talk to... Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Go for it. Almost got it, Graham. Just Will keep trying. Let us big kids figure this one out. <clears throat> Your hero is thinking. <laughs> well, I know the answer, but I want to see how all of you will solve it. Didn't want to do that. I want to talk to the purple guy. Talk to... Horn and another missing piece. <clears throat> yeah, there's a piece missing. From... You look like a little man who wants to do big things. I wonder okay, why no. it's not. Maybe you can't talk to that. Yeah, you know. he might be just too close to the, uh, whatchamacallit, so. For, for now, I mean, I'll just. Good. Yay. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, at least he threw us back the rope. I kind of feel like <laughs> aim high because it's, it's a heavy rope. Ram. Aim high. There we go. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> well, I'm kind of curious. I wonder how like realistic that is. Now you have rope because like rope is heavy, and an arrow is not very heavy. It does not have a lot of momentum. I feel like if you were to do that, it'd have to yeah. be like a very thin cord, and at that point, I don't know how much weight it could hold. I'm not saying it wouldn't work, because there's some very the strong. Is until this situation is under control. Okay. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. He's like, mm, you know, <laughs> no. that's what it looks like. He's like, mm, mm, no, you're not getting through here. It's like, okay, <laughs> sheesh. The same thing every time. The forest is blocked yeah, it is. Until this situation is under control. The forest is blocked, Stephen. Until the situation is under control. Because I can, let's just try it for the heck of it. It's working. <laughs> I can't just push it over. He has incredible strength. Okay, let, let me go first. No, no, you're heavy. Okay, fine. Over here, buddy. <laughs> Did he kick that off? Yeah, he oh, did it. That was, that was great. It was, thank you. So glad you're so helpful. Conveniently, 
The thing that's not caught on the far, the, the close side, what we always say, the far side of the shore, and then, what's the other word? Hmm? There's the far side of the shore, and then... The near side? Near, okay, yeah, probably. probably. But, like, like there's nothing the holding it. Probably just under, maybe just underneath the Starboard. It's like no. Right? Good, there we Whisper. go. That was great. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's funny. You need to, like, eat or something. <laughs> he's, I feel like he's tired all the time. Tired or, you know, whatnot. He's just skinny. All right. I like him. <laughs> oh, he's great. Okay. Well, yeah. There's still. The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Hmm. Can I use that? Good job. Thatch lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. He gets a tad annoyed. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I would do. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. Well, you need the hatchet again. <laughs> I wonder if he says something. No, I guess not. Man, I thought he would be like, well, I guess I had to use the hatchet. Again. Well, I just find it funny that, like, it's kind of like, I left, I was in the wilderness. I mean, it's not really in the wilderness, but it's kind of like, I was in the wilderness and I left my knife behind because I knew I would not need it anymore. I'm like, that is not a good decision. You're in Daventry. You're, you're in, like, a city. Well, I know, I know, I know. But it's still, it's kind of like a repair... How are you walking uh, on the water? I, th I think it's apparently because he's so light and small that he can oh, just okay, walk okay, across. Okay. I think. I don't know. Or unless it's just super shallow there. It doesn't look shallow. I mean, I... Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Well, what about you? Thanks. I like, guess. he just walked across. <laughs> like, yeah. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend. Oh my gosh. Your color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I would say more of a secret alliance. I like alliance? how he just. Well, never mind. This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men. Like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. I like Manny. I like his voice, the voice Let actor, too. I, can help. <laughs> I have this rope. Uh, sort of. Can I go the same way? Probably not. Wow. I what like, were you reaching for? Yeah, I have no know? idea. Uh, <clears throat> I will say that's one of those things where, not to say it happens all the time, but it's kind of like when, you know, anyone's hiking or whatnot. It's kind of like if you don't know if you can make something, don't try it. Like if you're yeah. trying to scramble up something or scramble up, scramble up or whatnot. If you don't, like, like especially if you're climbing you need confidence, even if it's just to, like, move forward and keep moving. Because if you, like, move forward and stop midway, that may state, cause a problem. Please. Like, oh, it's Tuesday today. Now yeah. have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. 
but we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Hmm. I don't know because I'm not him, but I'll go. I never heard the date was switched. <laughs> mm hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants. And I was like, my mom wouldn't let me leave until I finished my. I'm like, for the chivalry test. <laughs> I. See me. I would say because he fell off the his his not horse his whatever. That's what I would say. You are in the corner alone, so I will talk to you first. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really. He gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick, then buzz off. What are you going to ask Graham. him? Graham Cr no. No, no he's last <laughs> name. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am That's currently great, yeah. in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, oh my gosh. Acorn, get it right or pay the price. <laughs> I'll leave you be. Go away. He's, yeah, he's little. But I like he's like, I'm Graham, Cur like he's going to say cracker. <laughs> this is last day. Oh, okay. We oh, it's so funny. about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Sir Ver Averos? <laughs> That's funny, but you're not going to pass your chivalry test if you <laughs> don't know anyone's name. Get to know thine enemies, Graham. Then we can chat strategy. Exposing their weaknesses will be the only way to win. Actually, go go ahead and end the conversation. Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Because you have to talk to everybody yeah, yeah, else yeah. first, and then you can talk Hello. to him. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. Achaka. I like him. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. <laughs> So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the <laughs> hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Now you gotta go talk to... Well, yeah. You actually just talk to whoever. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. 
What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What <laughs> rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... you're... Yeah, sorry, move my mic down. <laughs> Why not? Woman's dream. Well, you got that right. <laughs> the ladies love, 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 love. Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe. <laughs> it's oh, never mind. Yes, your name. Uh, you are. You're. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... I don't know, so... Yeah, going to have to wait. I'll be right back. To wait one second. Now go talk to right Manny. Here. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. I just love it. <laughs> get your name wrong. All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching this episode. We'll talk to Manny uh, next episode. Thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic day and be blessed.